Professor Dave and Chegg here. We've learned about reaction classes such as addition and elimination. So now it's time to learn about another major class of reactions called nucleophilic substitution reactions. Let's dig into some introductory information now. A nucleophilic substitution reaction is one in which a nucleophile replaces some group on a molecule. So it is as though some leaving group is being substituted for the nucleophile, hence nucleophilic substitution. This was discovered all the way back in 1896 by German chemist Paul Walden when our chemistry was much less sophisticated and we were not able to rigidly characterize molecules to know their structure. Walden found that the two enantiomers of malic acid, the plus and minus forms, meaning that they possess the opposite optical activities, could be interconverted through two steps. When treating minus malic acid with PCL5, he got plus chlorosuccinic acid. Then upon treatment with aqueous AG2O, this yielded plus malic acid. Similarly, plus malic acid could be treated with PCL5 to yield minus chlorosuccinic acid, which could be treated with aqueous AG2O to give minus malic acid again. At the time, this was a breakthrough discovery. The optical activity of a compound had been reversed via two chemical reactions, which meant the chiral center was inverted. We now understand that this happened because he was performing nucleophilic substitution reactions, where a nucleophile, in these cases either a chloride ion or a hydroxide ion, were replacing some group on the molecule. This can occur by either retention of stereochemistry, where the configuration is retained, or by inversion of stereochemistry, where the group gets pushed the other way. Later research confirmed that when nucleophilic substitution occurs on a primary or secondary alkyl halide, inversion of stereochemistry will always occur, which is why Walden was able to interconvert between the two enantiomers, something that was confirmed by measuring optical activity. We are just scratching the surface on nucleophilic substitution reactions. There are a number of subcategories with slightly different mechanisms and applications. So let's move forward and get a broader sense of this reaction class. Professor Dave for Chegg, see you next time.